Hello. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, we are in Germany right now, and we have not been getting videos up, obviously, on our Europe trip, as you've, as you've noticed. Some of you may have not noticed, and you're just tuning in. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> Behind us, look at this really quick. Can you see how green that is? It's beautiful here. Yeah, it's amazing. And we didn't, we had no idea it actually looked this good here. I don't know what I pictured when I thought of Germany. What did you picture? I, I don't know. I just, more like city-like, I guess. And I guess, I'm sure Germany has its cities, but where we are right now is just mind-blowing beautiful. Amazing, so beautiful. And I feel like the whole trip has kind of been like that, where we're just like, amazed by everything we've seen so far. That's true. This is a perfect place to, to end our trip. We're, we're here in, in Frankfurt and Rotenburg and Wiederschneiser, I don't know where. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of vlogs um, from our trip that we really wanna show you how beautiful Europe has been and how... Just show you our trip in general. Yeah, so all, we're gonna have vlogs, so stay tuned and catch up on those. But we wanted to take a moment, as we've been around going, uh, visiting places in Germany and in this village we were at today, Rotenburg, beautiful. It's covered by a castle that was made in the 1400s. They celebrated Good Friday and Easter's this weekend, right? And so we were just talking about how lucky we are that we're able to do this trip. Uh, we've had a lot of people ask how we're able to travel so much and that we'll have a video coming out about that on our vlog. But just how lucky we are to have these experiences together. Yeah, definitely. Uh, before we have kids and then we're gonna keep it up when we have kids. <laughs> but especially just the highlights that we've had from this trip. And being Easter this weekend, we got thinking about a lot of different people that we've met on this trip. We've seen a Christ-like attribute come up often. Just compassion. There's a lot of negativity that gets up on the news and gets posted and promoted and it's sad that that is sometimes promoted. People are generally nice everywhere. It's like the world is focused on all these bad and evil things or negative things and on this trip we've seen nothing but compassion. Like us feeling compassion for others but others showing compassion for us and a lot of times I think we think compassion has to be this huge deal like I'm I don't know, surprising all the kids at the hospital with new books, which is amazing, but yeah, that's there's little, cool. <laughs> compassion can be little acts of just kindness. I don't know, share your experience with about the the guy that we saw that was begging for money. So we, we oh, were in London yeah. and, and this guy just came up begging well, first, rice for money. First, Nellie commented, she's like, I haven't really seen any homeless people on this trip and I agreed with her, didn't see it all. And then uh, that, that night, um, a gentleman came up to us. We actually had just got off the metro. Uh, we were thinking about getting a waffle. Spencer Stroob Dog, who helps edit, he was gonna get a hot dog. And this gentleman came up asking for money. And immediately I've done what I think a lot of us do, where we get nervous and we look away because we don't know if it's a dangerous situation or we're just like, ah, if they're begging for money and well, I if like I give it to him, I don't know if he's gonna get drugs with it or whatever. I didn't think all that at first, but it just right away I was starting to get like, just kind of like, hey, I'm sorry you're in that situation. But I thought, no, as, as, as we've been thinking about how can we promote more good and noticing how good people are, we wanted to help him. And so we just started talking with him and it really stuck out to me more this time. He. I don't know, I focused on his eyes and not so much of his appearance. Yeah, or what he was wearing or how the smells or, or his breath or anything like that. I just kind of focused on his eyes and um, it really, I don't know, it really hit me that, hey, here's a moment, Bryce, to show compassion to this man. and. We, we didn't have, um, so we were in the UK and we were That's out of pounds. End. Yeah, we, we had planned our trip to, to use our budget and we didn't have anything except a few coins. And uh, Spencer had, had some coins with him as well that were actually, in the US, coins don't mean as much, but obviously in Europe they, they have more weight. We put that together and gave to this man, but I was just kind of dazed for the rest of the evening just thinking of, I saw him different and maybe I should have shown more compassion immediately. I wasn't rude or anything, but just I hesitated first, but it felt so good to 
to give him what we had. We just started thinking again how grateful we we are for the compassion that people have shown us. Right now we're staying with the Stockhoff family. You'll see them in our vlogs. They're amazing. We were with the Wilkie Ways. They're amazing as well. Both adorable families. Really? The Cadens, yeah, the, in France. And everyone has just shown great hospitality. I think that's what we'll mostly take with us this trip is those moments of compassion that people have shown to us. Yeah, I just think a lot of times we think what is ours is ours, what's yours is yours. Or we desensitize ourselves, like there's always homeless people around us or people in need, but we almost have to be like, well, we can't help everybody, so. But at this time when we think about Easter, which is all about our Savior Jesus Christ, and what he's given to us and the compassion he showed to those who despised him most, it was just a good reminder on this trip to see compassion given towards us and the compassion we felt towards others because this is it's what the world needs. It's, it's too negative. It's to be the light in the world, I guess. And I guess on this trip we've thought, or we just noticed that we need to be more of a light in this world. It's awesome traveling. It really is. And we can make it about traveling. But I feel like this trip we've really made it about more of the people in our experiences even with each other as husband and wife and really that's what's made it better is building these relationships especially with these people like we just met the Stockhoff family and I already love them and the Wilkie way is like amazing people and it's just because they gave a moment of their time to us and said hey we'll take care of you hey don't worry about dinner hey we'll show you this and it's it's made our trip so much better so it's, it has made our trip yeah it's it's awesome we Sorry, I cut you off. No, go for it. We saw the Eiffel Tower, we, we saw Arc de Triomphe, we saw uh, amazing places. We were in Belgium, we were in Amsterdam, we were, we were gonna go through Luxembourg on our way back, we're in Germany now. So beautiful places, but honestly, Our favorite part. What's, yeah, what's made it kind of magical is the moments where people have expressed care and concern and compassion towards us. So, um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the people are just, they're so good and and kind and, and for the most part. And yes, there is that, the, um, the not good situations and the evil situations. We just wanted to take a minute to express our gratitude to everyone who's shown that kindness to us. Thank you, Cadens, Wilkie Ways, Stockhoffs, all of you strangers. Oh, the other day, we were getting fries in Belgium and some famous fries that they had. This guy who was talking to us, he realized that we weren't from Belgium and he just comes over to us and he's like, hey, I got this, uh, it's a euro off because I stayed at a hostel. Here, you can have it, I just used one. And it was a dollar off or a euro off of our meal. Not but a that like, deal, but... that made our moment so much more enjoyable and like, ah, yeah, we love Belgium, it's cool. Well, then we even just took the time to just talk to him. It yeah. just like started a conversation and it was just awesome. So thank you to that gentleman. We didn't even catch his name. So recently, a lot of people have been talking about hashtag Prince of Peace. Um, and if you look up the hashtag, you'll probably see a lot of stuff on it. And we will we'll hook a link or connect a link. Oh, how do you say it? <laughs> we'll link a link. How do you say? We'll link a link. We'll put a link down in the description below. And again, it doesn't matter what religion you are, where you are in your life. It's just always just so good to be reminded of like somebody that loves you so much that you can't even imagine or comprehend the things that were sacrificed for you because the love towards you was so much is I just feel like that's what we've learned a lot this trip is how to become more like the Prince of Peace yeah and it, it we've got thinking about it a lot because of Easter and um, yes, there's the Easter bunny traditions and the Easter eggs. <laughs> it's always good. Yeah, and fun. Um, but especially the, the main reason. I mean, Jesus did live. That That is fact. He did live on this earth and he That's did good. many acts of service and he lived a life of so many traits and one of those being compassion. And we're appreciative of everyone who's even shown compassion in your comments to us on YouTube. Just the, the bright and uplifting comments that you give us really makes a difference in life. And we want to invite you guys to show a little more compassion around this holiday where we honor and commemorate the, the life of our Savior. A few of our friends have also talked about this in their videos. We're going to link their channels below as well. And click on the hashtag Prince of Peace. Click on the link uh, below our video to, to kind of enjoy some time and appreciate Easter.
That's we love it. you guys. We're gonna go enjoy the rest of Europe before we come home. Stay tuned. More, more of our vlogs are gonna be, we're gonna get editing a lot more of those. They'll be coming out and uh, uh, Happy Easter! Yeah! Enjoy Easter! See ya! And enjoy this view of Germany for two more seconds. <laughs> that was two seconds. See you guys. Bye.